What's going on guys, Drake here with WCCF Tech TV. Today I have a video for you guys about AMD's upcoming 500 series of video cards. Over the past few weeks, it seemed that all the news we've had about AMD has been about the new Ryzen CPUs, but that doesn't mean that AMD's graphics department has not been hard at work as well. We also have some benchmarks of the upcoming Radeon RX 580 card. Let's get right into it. So AMD issued out a press release regarding the upcoming event, which is happening on February 28th. The big news is that AMD will be showing off their upcoming Radeon 500 series Vega GPUs at their second annual Capsaicin and Cream. This event is a part of GDC 2017. In the press report issued, AMD says that this event will be a celebration of PC gaming as well as a celebration of the technology directing the future and those who work hard in this industry. This will be a one hour live event that will offer PC gamers and developers previews of AMD's latest and greatest technologies in the graphics department. And they will also give out some new details finally about their upcoming Vega line of GPUs. AMD showcased a high-end all AMD part system at Ryzen's announcement press event. The company demonstrated a system equipped with a $400 8-core 16-thread Ryzen 7 1700X CPU paired with an enthusiast Vega graphics card running Star Wars Battlefront at 4K. Running at 4K, this demo was maintaining above 60 FPS the whole time, which is pretty impressive. We also have a leaked Radeon RX 580 benchmark in here. This is for Ashes of the Singularity. Keep in mind that this does slightly favor AMD GPUs, so take these results with a little grain of salt. However, this result still does show that the 580 tested around the same results as a reference GTX 1070, scoring 7100. As I said earlier though, while this does favor AMD GPUs, the performance of a 580 will most likely be a little bit under that of a GTX 1070. We also have some more confirmed news that these graphics cards will launch in May, alongside some more confirmation that we got in the most recent wave of news. So what do you expect from Vega GPUs? Let's give you what we know so far. There will be two types of Vega cards, 10 and 11. 10 is the bigger of the two, and this will be the chip that will go in the new 500 series flagship inside of it. This will most likely be the successor to the Fury card and is set to rival NVIDIA's 1080 and upcoming GTX 1080 Ti. Vega 11 will be AMD's new high performance mid range weapon and will most likely be competing with a card such as the 107 from the green side. While there's little news right now out about this chip, we will continue to update you guys when we have some more info, especially from this upcoming event on the 28th. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. This was just us giving you guys. The news of AMD's upcoming event going on here within the next few days. Be sure to keep an eye out for this event as we will be sure to have some more content out as more details become available. Also be sure to check out the link in the description below to where you guys can find the full article referenced here. Thank you for watching WCCF Tech TV. Signing off, this is Drake. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.